Hey everybody, it's been a while. Uh, sorry for uh, staying away so long, but I had some uh, phone issues. I actually had to re factory reset my phone. So it's my first time uh, using it since then. And uh, it's kind of was enjoying my, uh, my time. But uh, on to March, and some of you may have seen on the groups, um, I posted that to me, March this year is going to be monogamous March. And that is I'm sticking with one soap the entire month. I've already weighed it out. It is seven grams including the container, or seven ounces including the container, and 198 grams. And we pour off the bloom water. And that is Soap Commander Respect. I'll get into why I picked that in a minute. I'm using my Matthew Marting brush. Everything in here has a purpose. And I'll explain that too. Edwin Jagger 89 with a treat blade. It's technically its fourth shave. I consider a face and a head shave to be two shaves. So yesterday I did two shaves with that blade. And then my aftershave, Phoenix Lime Ice Sage. So I'm gonna go ahead and start building the lather and I'll explain my thought process. One, I wanted to see if I could actually do it. I wanted to see what it would be like to go with one soap. You know, it's been so long. It's been two years uh, in March, this month, probably about mid-month is when I started this journey. And I wanted to see what it kind of felt like. And so I picked one of soap. You can kind of see how deep it is already there, how much has been taken out. I wanted to see how far I could get this soap tin down or tub down. But also, this was the first soap I fell in love with. Um, I ordered two soap commanders. This was the first one that really got me good. And so I said, well, why don't I use that? You know, and it's spring's kind of hitting, the, the heat's been around again, so why not pick, you know, the lime scent as well? Then for today's shave, I picked my Edwin J 89 because that's my first ever razor. Uh, and so I figure I'm going to go with my first love of soap, use my first razor. And then if I still had the original brush, I would use the original brush that I bought uh, from Maggard's at the time. It's a tiny little thing. Plenty of load there. But alas, I don't. Clean puck, now you can see how much is gone overall. Instead, I've got, uh, this was my first, uh, we'll say custom brush. You know, I was with, uh, back when uh, Matthew Martin was taking uh, custom orders, you know, it was this handle style. At the time, I believe he was only doing these uh, badger knot, I think it's 22 millimeter silver tip. And then you just got to basically pick the color. So being a Green Bay Packer fan, I picked the color. So I figured my first custom brush it was technically my second brush ever. So the first brush of what I still own. Also the smallest knot that I own as well. So I kind of figured that's, that would be my setup to start it off. Um, I'm not going to do videos the entire time through, obviously, through the month, but I'll definitely do some check-ins. Um, I'll try to do some uh, occasional weigh-ins of the weight to uh, get an idea for how much I use. And this includes head shaves, by the way, too. I am not going to um, do a different soap for the head shave. Originally, I thought about it, but that's not monogamy. So, so that's my inspiration. I was trying to figure, it just kind of came to me one day, so... Oh, and if the treat blade does treat me bad, because I normally don't go four shades with a blade, I'll uh, just quickly load another. All right, I'm good to go. In the shower, I use Soap Commander Drive Soap. Worn off the blade real quick. So that's kind of my plan. Uh, it's hard to believe it's coming up on two years this month for me. It's crazy to think. But you know, I have so much stuff that it's just kind of figured this would be an interesting uh, interesting thing. I know some people they uh, they go through one tub at a time. I've never done that. Never planned to. But this would be the closest it'll come to, I think.
Depends I never planned to. Sometime it would be interesting to start a tub from the beginning and go straight through. So far the blade feels nice. Works with the grain pass a little easy. Alright, pass one is done. I will do a three pass today. Lately I've been doing a uh, modified two pass by going with uh, with the green like I just did there and then doing just specifically picking against the green passes um, where so the jaw line this way and then everything else accordingly and we're getting some pretty darn good shapes plenty of lather So this is also, I believe, this and Passion are my oldest soaps of what I still own. You're talking almost a two-year two -year soap. Some other people are uh, partaking, which is awesome. Two passes down. And I really do enjoy this scent. Um, it's kind of fallen off a little bit through the through the time. Uh, this was, as I've said many times, a very approachable first scent since uh, having just been divorced at the time, I was used to fruitier scents the typical stuff, you know, the wife would get from the body shop or Bath and Body Works. But the patchouli in this definitely darkens it up a little bit. It's still, you know, very limey, but it definitely darkens it up. So it's interesting to see how the scent progresses through the month for me. I haven't used it in a while, so that's uh, really good there in that aspect. I do plan on doing some videos during the time. Um, like I said, I don't know how, how many will be shave videos, but I do have some product to uh, talk about that I've used recently. Got a strop to talk about. A couple soaps. Couple brushes as well. Some of the stuff I've had for a little while that's never uh, really talked about it much.
right, three presses down in 10 minutes. Let's hope for a little faster. Let's see where I'm at real quick. The slick soap you can't go wrong. No need to put any on there for the touch up real quick. Leave my neck alone. It's a little, a little rough today for some reason. Could be the blade dulling down on me. But I'm gonna quick uh, rinse off. So I know by the time some people see this, they may not know of Monogamous March, but uh, I got to do one-handed aftershave too. Tore my palm a little bit, kind of being cautious with it. Tore it Saturday, but uh, just because one day's gone by, if you're thinking about doing it, go ahead and start tomorrow. You know, I know it's a little late, you know, technically, but hey, it's one day. All right, so lime I say is perfect complement to this. Two different takes on lime, but uh, same family. Really pleasing shave today. Uh, kind of what I was hoping for, something bright. You know, so it kind of gets me going. So that's what I got, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy the concept of Monogamous March. Uh, I know I'm gonna enjoy doing it. We'll see how the month goes. 31 days of the same soap. That's uh, yeah. So pray for me, guys. God bless, and we'll see you next time.